In this video, I will discuss about level order traversal of a binary tree. Level order traversal is a breadth first traversal of a binary tree. So as you know, we can divide the tree into levels. So this is level zero. This is level one. This is level two. And this is level three. So breadth first traversal of the tree is first we'll print all the nodes which are at level zero. Then we'll go to level one, then level two and level three. And we'll go from left to right. So for this tree at level zero, we have A. At level one, if we go from left, we have D, then Z. At level two, at left node, we have H, then we have L, and then we have C. And level three, we have P and E. So this is the level order traversal for this tree. Now let's understand the algorithms that are there to find out the level order traversal. So we'll discuss two methods. First method uses recursion and the second method uses queue. So let's discuss the first method that uses recursion. In this method, we have this for loop which runs from level zero till height of the tree and it calls this function print level. Height of the tree is the maximum number of edges that the root node is apart from the leaf node. So maximum number of edges are 1, 2, and 3. So the height of this tree is 3. So there is a separate discussion on how we can calculate the height of the tree. But to understand this level order traversal, let's just assume that we know how to calculate height of the tree and we find out that height of this tree is 3. So we'll call this function print level for level equal to 0 till 3. And in this function, we check if the node that we passed is null, then we return. If the level passed is 0, we print the value. Otherwise, if it is greater, then we call this function again for left and right. So the first call will be for level equal to zero. We call this function print level and we pass node which is A and the level is zero. So the node is A and the level is zero. We check if node is null. So node is not null. We check if level is zero. So we print value of node which is A. So let's see the output here. We print A. So this function ends. Then we again come in this for loop. Now level is 1. So we call print level for A and 1. We check if node is null, it is not null, level is not 0. So we come in the else part and we call print level for node of left. Left of A is D and now the level is 0. So node is D and the level is 0. Now we come in this if part. If level is 0, we print the value of node. So we print D. And then we return from this function. We come back to print level a comma one. So now we call this print level node of right. Now right of a is z, and the level is zero. So node is z, and level is zero. We again come in the if part and we print the value of node, which is z. So after this, this function ends. We again come in the for loop. Now level will be two. So we call print level for a comma two. We come in the else part level is greater than two. So we call print level for left of a, which is D and level will be one. So now we are calling this function for D comma one. So these two if conditions are false, we come in the else part. Then we again call this for left of D, which is H. H comma zero. When we call it for h, we come in the if part, level is 0, so we print the value of node which is h. Now this function terminates, so we go to the print level d comma 1, and from here we call the print level node of right. So right of d is l and level is 0. So we come in the if part, level is 0, we print the value of node which is l. After this, this function also terminates. Now print level d comma 1 also terminates. We go to print level a comma 2 and from here we call the right of a. So from here we are calling for z comma 1. So node is z now and level is 1. We come in the else part. Now we have to call for left of z. Left of z is null. So we call for print level left of z is null and level is 0. When we call for null, we return from here. So this function terminates. 
then we call for right of z which is c so node is c and level is 0 when level is 0 we print the value of node so we print c here and now this function terminates and this function also terminates so we come back in the for loop now level becomes 3 so now we have to call this function print level for node a and level 3 so i'll just write pl for the print level so we're calling for a comma 3 so these two if conditions are false we come in the else part so we'll call print level for left of a which is d and level will be 2 so node is d level is 2 now we again come in the else part so left of d is h and level is 1 we call this function print level for h comma 1 then we again call for the left of h which is null when we call for null we return from this if condition so we return from here then we again call for right of h and we again return from here so pl h comma 1 is done we go back to pl d comma 2 then we call for right of d which is l so node is l and level is 1 now for l we call for left of l which is p and level is 0 when level is 0 we print so we print here p and then this function terminates then we call for right of l right of l is null so we call for null comma 0 node is null and level is 0 when node is null we return so this function terminates pll comma 1 is also done we go back to pla comma 3 now we call for right of a which is z now print level z comma 2 so node is z and level is 2 so we come in the else part we call for left of z we call for null comma 1 when node is null we return so we return from here then we call for right of z which is c so node is c now and level is 1 now we call for left of c which is null when node becomes null we return from the if condition and then we call for right of c which is e so we call for pl e comma 0 and when level is 0 we print so here we print e and then we return we return back to pl z comma 2 and then we return to pl a comma 3 and then we return to the for loop and now level was 3 so this for loop terminates and this is our level order traversal that we have obtained so in this method we start from the root and we go till each level and then print the nodes of that level so here the time complexity is high it is equal to order of n square because the tree can be squid so all the nodes are aligned in one direction so for printing each of the nodes we'll start from the top and go till that node now there is a second method of doing a level order traversal that is more efficient and it uses q let's see that method so the second method uses q so the first step of the pseudo code is we need to create an empty q so let's say we have this q we push root node in the q so a is the root node we push a so this is the front of the q then we keep a variable current which we initialize with null then while q is not empty we need to run this while loop so current becomes equal to front of q so current is now a then we print the value of current so let's see we print the output here we print a then we pop from the q so the q becomes empty then we check if left of current which is d is not equal to null we push d to the q then we check if right of current which is z is not equal to null so we push that in the q then we again come in the next iteration q is not empty current becomes equal to front of q which is d we print the value of current we pop from the q then we check if left of current which is h is not equal to null we push it to the q so we push h then we check if right of current is not equal to null so right of d is l so we push l to the q then in the next iteration we check q is not empty current becomes equal to front of q 
which is z we print the value of current then we pop from the queue we check left of current so left of current is null so this if condition is false then we check right of current right of z is c so we push c to the queue then the next iteration q is not empty current becomes equal to front of q which is h we print the value of current we pop from the queue then we check left of current so left of h is null and right of h is also null so these two if conditions are false then in the next iteration current becomes equal to front of q which is l we print the value of current we pop from the queue we check left of current so left of l is p we push p to the queue and we check right of l so right of l is null so this if condition is false in the next iteration current becomes equal to front of q which is c we print the value of current we pop from the queue we check left of current so left of c is null so this if condition is false we check right of current right of current is e so we push e to the queue then the next iteration current becomes equal to front of q which is p we print the value of current we pop from the queue we check left of current which is null and right of current is also null so these two if conditions are false then in the next iteration current becomes equal to front of q we print the value of current we pop from the queue so the queue is empty now we check left and right of current so left and right of e is null so these two if conditions are false in the next iteration we check queue is empty so queue is empty now so this while loop terminates and this is our level order traversal so we are visiting each node and then pushing its left and right child to the queue in this traversal every node is visited only once so the time complexity of this method is order of n so this is more efficient than the first method that we discussed so once you've understood both these methods let's try to implement them so all the code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of that is available here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code so in the main function i've created this root node of value a then the left of a is d so in this manner i've created all the nodes of the tree then i call this function level order traversal and i pass root node to it in this function i first find out the height of the root node and then i call the print level function from level 0 till height of the root node so in this height function i first calculate the height of the left node then i calculate the height of the right node so basically for each of the subtrees in this tree i calculate the left height and the right height and then for that subtree the height will be the maximum of left and right plus 1 so in this way i have calculated the height of the root node that will be height of the tree then I call this function print level for each of the level from 0 to height of the root node. In this function, I just check if node is null, then I return. If level is 0, I print the value. And if level is greater than 0, then I call this function for left and right node. So let's see the output of this program. So the height is 3, and the level order traversal is A, D, Z, H, L, C, P, E. Now let's see the second method using Q. In the second method, I first create the tree, then I call this function level order traversal. In this function, I've created a queue of type tree node. I push the root node in it, and then I have this while loop which I run till the queue is not empty. I keep a variable current in which I keep front of the queue, then I print it, and then I pop it from the queue. And then I push left and right child of the current element if they are not null. So in this manner, I visit all the nodes of the tree once and then I print it. So let's see the output of this program. So output is the same ADZ HLCPE. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.